welcome back to the vlog i'm jasmine if you're new here today is sunday and we are about to head to a flag football game johnny's coaching Callie's playing i just put on the amicole lip oil i think it is whenever i wear this lip oil i'm always amazed at how glossy and juicy it is i'll show you guys what it is hold on yeah this is the lip oil. I'm not sure what shade this is. Hold on, does it say on here? I'll have this length, but basically it's the brownish shade. It's so pretty. Love this lip gloss, lip oil. And then I'm gonna put on Bianco Latte. I literally brought this with me. I brought this with me because we were running out the house and I didn't get a chance to spray myself before we left. I wanted to wear something that was very like cozy and fall. So I brought Bianco Latte. Callie and Johnny are already at the field and we're just gonna head over there in a second. They have practice before the games so basically we're just gonna chill for a little bit while they practice. <laughs> the game which was sad because they did so well they literally got intercepted twice which uh, it was so hard to watch but they were doing really good they were up for a while then they were tied for a little off the first interception and on the very 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 last play oh they got intercepted again it was just it was a hard watch but they did so well i'm definitely proud of the team and johnny and yeah it was good Anyways, we're back home. Johnny actually had to go coach his high school football game. So he's gone. All Johnny's been coaching all day. So this morning he coached Cali's team and now he's coaching the high school football team that he coaches. But anyways, I am so tired. I was up last night pretty late. I don't know why. I just couldn't really sleep and I decided to start watching um, Love is Blind. I only watched like 20 minutes of the first episode and it was already starting to get good so i'm definitely i'm definitely gonna watch this season i'm probably gonna watch some more a little later but i thought i would take a little nap i actually just put my video for today to export so while that's exporting off my computer i'm gonna set a 20 minute timer to take a little nap i don't want to nap for too long because i have mad things to do today i have a lot to do i have to do callie's hair we have to do some school grocery shopping i have to finish uploading that vlog so and then i have to clean so i have and cook <laughs> girl i got my schedule today is intense so i wanted to take a quick nap though just because i wanted to like refresh rejuvenate myself but i did make myself a um espresso i'm gonna try that little coffee hack espresso hack basically they say that if you drink espresso and nap for 20 minutes when you wake up the espresso would have kicked in and you'll have all the energy so I made myself a little espresso. This is just one shot. Hopefully that's enough for me. It should be enough. But yeah, I just made myself a little. It's literally like this much. This is the Puerto Rico Nespresso pod. So we're going to drink that. I also did take a little... Is this a crumpet? Tea and crumpets? <laughs> this is a um, Cantuccini um, biscotti. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to eat that though. But we're definitely going to do the Nespresso. Ooh, it's strong. I didn't add any sugar or anything. It's just black. It's very much strong. The girl on Espresso told me that this was not as strong as Dulce. Maybe it's not as strong, but it definitely tastes more bitter or like more bold. I don't know, but it has like a nice flavor at the same time. It has like a um, smoothness to it. It's like a bold and smooth coffee. Ooh, it's intense. <laughs> I set my timer for four o'clock. It's 3.40 right now. Hopefully I wake up because next thing you know, I have a hard time waking up. I'm gonna do 4.05 just because I wanna finish this before I actually 
close my eyes. I actually did drink coffee earlier, but it was definitely not enough for the amount of tired that I am. So hopefully this helps. On each other, heavy, teasing all day and when the sun sets you a little later, I'm about to go to the grocery store to grab the um, snacks for the week. And I also need to grab a couple things to cook. So I'm going to use my Amicole lip balm or lip tint, whatever this is, lip oil. Girl, I took the fakest nap ever. <laughs> I really tried, but it did not work out. I think the coffee kicked in a lot quicker than I anticipated. And I literally could not fall asleep. So I <laughs> I um, ended up just editing. And then I also made a couple of these shopping posts. So I'm trying to do better at like curating different things for you guys. And on for, Insta for Instagram as well. So this is my little, I made one of these for Target Circle Week. I've been working on these for my LTK shop. So definitely follow me on LTK. It's kind of like my own little shop where I get to pull things that I like. I think it's kind of like my own little boutique. Let us head to the supermarket. I really don't even want to go right now, but I literally have no choice. I also meant to start dinner. I put chicken in the fridge yesterday from the freezer and I thought it was going to defrost. It's still not defrost. Just, I took it out and I put it on the stove to maybe hopefully in the next hour defrost. It's literally... Right now it's 6.30 so hopefully by the time I get back it's more defrosted and I can actually cook it because I was really not expecting that. Hold on. Hello? Praying that that chicken gets defrosted before 8 o'clock tonight so I can cook it. There was something else that I wanted to tell you guys but I can't remember to save my life. Let's go to the supermarket, get the groceries. It's literally pitch black outside. I did not spend that long in the supermarket. I went into the supermarket, the sun was out, I came out, and it's pitch black. That's crazy. Like, <sighs> missing summer. Missing summer already. This is crazy. Oh, uh, so we just. Hello? So Johnny just pulled up and we just got home. Hopefully, he won this game since he didn't win his. Um, earlier game but yeah let's head in the house we gotta cook real quick i am not i'm not gonna make the chicken i'm actually just gonna use the ground turkey that i got and i'm gonna make everyone ground turkey today because i'm not about to deal with frozen chicken i'm pretty sure it's not defrosted yet so i'm not gonna bother i'm not gonna stress myself out we're just gonna do um ground turkey with tacos and then johnny and i will do it with sweet potatoes i believe so yeah let's go what the Oh, this is, is this closed? Oh, it is closed. I'm trying to aggressively put my phone in my pocket and it's not working. All right. Did you win this game? Oh, we won, yeah. You won one game? <laughs> huh? They were bad. Also, the stuff that I got is really for the kids. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got for tonight. I just got some salsa. I got some guac. This says avocado verde. So I think it's like a guac and salsa mixture. Yeah it right here got some cheese mexican blend shredded lettuce this is uh, just some butter we needed some green bananas uh just these snacks for school these some bagels ground turkey but i already cooked it and the rest of the stuff i already put in the freezer so i'm not gonna really bother but it's the same things that i usually pick up at the grocery store so yeah we're doing a ground turkey i thought i was gonna do sweet potatoes with the ground turkey for johnny and myself but we're just gonna do rice and beans because i already have leftovers from yesterday so we're just gonna do a bowl like a taco bowl basically a chipotle, a chipotle bowl good morning it's the next day i'm about to do skincare my hair and basically get ready for the gym so i'm actually like a little tired what's new we're gonna do the skinceuticals ce for like 
Okay, this is the vitamin C. I already washed my face and brushed my teeth. This has a very strange smell to it. I've actually used this off and on for a while now. I think the first time I tried it probably was like five years ago. It was a while. Then I'm also going to use my hyaluronic acid. This is the hyaluronic acid. I like how plump my skin looks with it. And... I don't know if I should do my moisturizer or sunscreen right away. I think I can just do sunscreen because this is pretty like hydrated and moisturizing. So I think I'll just do my sunscreen. And today we're just going to use the Tatcha sunscreen. Sunscreen. Make sure you check your sunscreen to see the expiration dates. Because girl, yesterday I threw out my Summer Friday sunscreen. <laughs> It was expired in February. It's definitely not going to be working properly if it's expired. What time is it? I think it's like 9.30. I think it's like 9.30 right now. So it's actually not that early. But I um, was doing a little bit of work before getting ready. I decided to edit a little of this morning's, well today's vlog. It's a lot easier when you edit little by little instead of trying to edit for like 10 hours straight. Okay, today I think we're going to do... What are we going to do today? Mm. Maybe we can do back. Maybe we'll do back and core. For my lips, I actually just got this PR package from Clarence. So this is a water lip stain. So I think it's going to give you this color of a tint on your lip. It has a little brush. That's cute. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. So this is what it looks like. So it's going to leave a little stain. I don't think it'll be too much, to be honest. I want to see what the lip oil will look like on its own. So I'm going to put the lip oil on my hand first. And then I'll decide if I want to do the tint. This is the lip oil. And this is in the shade... Plum. This is in the shade Plum. Never seen this shade. I don't think. It's like a dark color. So I have two other shades of this. And one of the shades is like this cherry color, I believe. And it does show up on my lips. So let's try this one. Yeah, this one shows up as well. It looks really pretty. Oh, this is pretty. I was not sure if I would need the lip tint to really get the color, but I do have color payoff without the lip tint. Adding in the lip tint will definitely give you even more color. Should I add a little? I'm just going to the gym, to be honest, so. Mmm. Nice. Definitely would put that under the lip oil, but I wanted to just, you know, do a little bit. And then this is the lip perfector. This is the lip perfector. I'm not sure what this is. I've never seen this. Oh, it's actually like, it looks, it's like this and it has color in there if we squeeze it. Oh, this is a gloss, I think. Pretty sure it's a lip gloss. This looks really pretty. Definitely want to try that, but we're just going to do this lippy for Le Gym. I need to pick out my outfit. I don't know what I'm going to wear. This is just Johnny's um, high school sweater. I feel like my favorite leggings are in the wash. And the colors that I have left are not my favorites for the gym. I like wearing those to like do leisure activities. But for the gym, I like wearing my darker colors. Just so that when I sweat, it's not as noticeable. Or it doesn't, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean. Let's turn off Callie's cartoons. Just wearing these pants from Lululemon. These are the Align leggings in this hot pink color, which is no longer available, but they always have, you know, new colors. And then this black top is from Skims. For my gym scent of the day, we're going to do Vanilla Skin by Fleur. This is a pretty vanilla, like, body spray. This is the... This is what it looks like. I need to smell good at the gym, okay? The other day, I was at the gym, and I kid you not. I was on a treadmill. Just like, you know, treadmill, like right here. And then there were some, like, weightlifting machines. Maybe, like, 
three feet away. I don't know if he just didn't take a shower for a couple days in Camp Virginia. There's no way he took a shower the day before unless unless he just sweats really really badly and I don't know what it was but all I know is whenever he would it was like an arm machine so he was constantly putting his arms up and down I think it was when he was putting his arms up all I know is I can smell it so strongly and I've smelled people at the gym but like it's not the first time I smell somebody at the gym but this one was definitely different I was concerned I was like this is absolutely crazy like you smell like terrible and he looked like a presentable respectable young man and so I was like why are we smelling like this so early in the morning this is crazy yeah we gotta smell good we can't be out here stinking up the gym I'm gonna wear my aloe jacket I've been really enjoying this jacket I have seen some other jackets that I kind of am eyeing for this is my super casual jacket so I wear this you know just to run errands go to the gym that type of thing but I'm also looking at different fall jackets slash winter that are a little bit above this where I would wear it to go out. Kalgaya and Gap have a collection drop in and there's literally just one maybe three but really just one thing that I really really want from this collection and it's a sweater. It's so basic but it's so cute and in the green color. I'll show you guys. I'll do like one of my little LTK things and I'll post the stuff in there. It just says Gaia on it and it's kind of like the Gap font. It is the Gap font I'm pretty sure but it's a called Gaia collab so it says Gaia and I just love the shade of green. I love the way it looks. Honestly the sweater said Gap I would get it as well because I just love the style of it but I don't think Gap has that sweater on its own. It's a little cropped not too much so pretty and then they also have this jean top with like a halter and it has some chains here like the Kalgaya classic chains it looks so good and they have a dress which I really like it's like this green well I think it comes in multiple colors but I love the green one maybe I'll put a picture of the dress on the screen so I can't really describe it I'll have all of those in my LTK and then I'm also gonna do like a little thing like you know picture that collection is gonna sell out immediately I'm gonna go to a couple gap stores maybe on Thursday to see if I can find any of it but I'm pretty sure it's gonna sell out so fingers crossed we get that sweater at least let me spray my jacket I haven't sprayed this jacket in a while also I can't find my Apple watch I have no idea where I put it and I try to do find my watch but I think it's off so I can't find it anyways let's head to the gym not my camera on 12 percent it's okay I do have my little camera which is what I'll be using predominantly in the gym if I do vlog in the gym that is I just opened up my Alani new. I'm doing Cherry Twist today. Love Cherry Twist. Ooh, my hands are ashy. I put on my. I actually still have not tried this. I'm gonna try it right now. This is the EOS hand cream I got at Walmart last week. This one is the Vanilla Scents. I have the body lotion version of this. You know what I just realized? I was talking all that ish about that person at the gym and I did not put on deodorant today. I don't smell though. <laughs> I took a shower. I just realized I did not put on deodorant when I took my shower because I was distracted. Oh, I love the morning sun. I'm gonna put these on so I can stare at people. I keep forgetting to put deodorant in this car. It's an essential for the car, honestly. What time is it? It's 10.30. I don't know how I keep ending up at the gym so late. We need to do better. You know what time I'm supposed to be at the gym? The, the time that I put down in my agenda or my to-do list to be at the gym for? 5.30 in the morning. That's the time I'm supposed to be at the gym. I'm supposed to be doing a 5 a.m. morning. Like starting at 5 a.m., working out getting back home getting the kids ready for school taking my shower and kind of just getting started with my work day as soon as my kids leave for school instead i'm struggling all morning to actually wake up i walk to the bus stop half asleep come back home lay down for a little bit um and then i slowly leisurely get myself together and get to the gym that's what i've been doing and i really want to break that and stop doing it we'll figure it out and i want to figure it out before 2025 i'm trying to get 
everything in order like i try to be i'm trying to be really really disciplined about this i haven't been to the gym at 5 a.m in so long i'm trying to drink at least half of this before actually walking into the gym that way i can actually have energy once i actually get into the building because otherwise it takes it takes a little while for this to like work in my system yeah oh my gosh i got an email like literally a couple days ago i'm gonna be collaborating with my one of my dream brands and i'm just like so thankful to you guys you have no idea thanks to god like i did not see this coming at all i was like is this spam whatever i do sponsor content thank you for interacting with it because on the brand side they obviously they want to see that i'm bringing value to them so if i post something that's sponsored it's always good to see like people are watching or clicking on the link even if you're not buying anything just click on the link <laughs> you can see that it's worth collaborating with me or just black creators in general there's a lot of politics with that basically there's unfair payment and there's this idea that black creators are not as profitable and don't bring in as much um customers and we know that's not true so anyways let's head into le gym my gloves so I need gloves today? Yeah, I definitely do. Do I need anything else in this bag? My camera in case I need to vlog anything at the gym, which I don't know if I will today. Depends on how crowded it is. That's my ultimate deciding factor as to whether I vlog or not at the gym. Last time I tried to vlog at the gym, this guy, he saw me with the camera. He saw me vlogging myself. Clearly the camera was only at, looking at me. There was no one behind me. He walks all the way over and is like walking in the background. Like I saw him. Like I, I saw the whole thing. Like I pretended like I didn't see him. But I definitely saw that he saw me and he purposely walked over there. There was nothing to see. Like I don't know what he was trying to see. Like he wanted to be on like YouTube or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was definitely weird. I feel like people were just sometimes strange. But anyways, let's go. I didn't find deodorant, but look what I found. My watch. What is it doing in here? Ariana, what are you doing here? I must have put it in here last week at some point. I think I put it in here last week because I took it to the gym and I realized it was dead. So I probably just threw it in this bag and I completely forgot. So... I was also looking for this yesterday, my sunscreen. Yeah, hand sanitizer for the gym. No deodorant though. Everything but deodorant. <laughs> Part of the visual, but money. All right, just left the gym. I had a great workout. I did pretty much just core. So I did some back and some ab workouts. And then I did some like floor stuff. I'm gonna take a shower, get to work, do emails, edit. All the things i'm actually thinking about combining vlogs over vlogs i'm not sure if i will but i may start doing every other day and just combining the vlogs i just don't want to like overwhelm you guys with all these videos i know like you know people are busy so i don't know i'll think about it some more but maybe after day 10 we'll start doing that i don't know we'll see yeah i'll kind of fill it out see what i think but anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye welcome back to the vlog i'm jasmine if you are new here i'm getting ready for the gym welcome back to the vlog i'm jasmine if you're new here i'm getting ready for the gym right now it's actually later than i would like it to be it's like 10 30 and i like to go to the gym a little earlier but i was having such a hard time this morning getting myself motivated to get to the gym and it's been that way for quite a while now like i remember years ago i would love going to the gym like i would literally just like look forward to it now every day i go i'm like ooh. I don't want to go but usually like I force myself and you know I'll make it but there are those days where I really just don't make it like I've gone to the parking lot and decided I'm not going <laughs> so today is one of those days where I really had to push myself and force myself to want to go or to, to get dressed even and um but you know what I'm gonna be I'm gonna take you know what though I'm gonna take the win I'm gonna be happy about it because there are days where I actually do not get ready. There are days where I don't get this far in the process, where I convince myself that we're not going today. So 
I'm happy that we made it this far. The next step is to get to the parking lot and then to get into the gym. I actually got to the gym, did like a quick warm up and left. It was one time y'all, just one time. It only happened once where I actually went to the gym, did a warm up and then left because I was like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Today's not that day though. We're gonna get our workout in. I'm gonna put some perfume on. I'm trying to really like make myself feel good. I did the fancy skin body butter. This is the one from last year. The vanilla dream smells so good. I'm gonna wear Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. The Eau de Parfum Intense version. I only like this version. This stuff is strong, so I'm only gonna do two sprays. After the gym, maybe I'll do a couple more because I do have to run a couple errands. We made it to the car. Another box has been checked off. Alani New. <coughs> Cherry Twist. I think this is my favorite flavor. Oh, this is so good. Delicious, so. Also, I did get an email from Nordstrom that my Uggs are ready, so I'm so excited. We're going to pick them up after the gym. I am definitely so excited to see them in person. One of you guys did tell me that you you had those and the cheetah print came off, so I'm a little nervous. I don't know. <laughs> They're so cute. I definitely am not going to return them. I'm just going to hope that mine do not peel off. That sounds absolutely insane, though, because Uggs, you know, good, Uggs are usually good quality in my experience. At least I've been wearing Uggs for so long probably like 20 years at this point i've been wearing uggs omg i stayed up last night catching up on love is blind and girl <laughs> girl girl the tea is piping piping hot the tea this season this season is actually crazy first of all like i don't even know where to start because almost all the couples so much drama almost all the couples are unhinged <laughs> like one of the couples was definitely ruined for me and i'm gonna tell you this so you don't ruin it for yourself wait what day is this vlog going up the i feel like the season might be completely out by the time this vlog goes up so i'm gonna just say this i ruined the show for myself because well not really it's fine I, i'm still gonna watch because i definitely want to know now what's gonna happen so i accidentally ruined it because i saw spoilers on tiktok because people are talking about one of the boys. One of the boys has a, a lot going on in his real life and he's lying. Like, it's go. Uh, I don't know if he's lying. Okay, so, so we don't know if he's lying for real, for real. Because maybe they didn't air that part of the show. Maybe they cut things out and so we don't know the full story. But either way, if what the people are saying is true about him and there's multiple people saying things he's a walking red flag and he did make one comment that kind of made me go hmm last night when i watched it i was like wait why would he say that red flag alert and once i saw those videos i remembered i my memory instantly went back to that statement he made and it just it confirmed to me that he knew this was going to come up because yeah, he made a comment. I'm not going to say what it is, but it has to do with Tyler. And if you watched the last episode, I think it was episode six, he made a comment saying like, oh, when we get out, people might say things about me. People might come up with all these rumors, but you know, you can't believe them. I'm a changed man. He said something to the effect of that to um, Ashley. Well, when he made that comment, I kind of was already suspicious. I didn't know what he meant by it and I was I definitely was not expecting what I found on TikTok. People are saying that the um, crew needs to be, do a better job at recruiting people to do background checks and all that stuff and I do think that's true but at the same time I feel like they may have known this and thought it would make good TV because it definitely does not like for the obviously not for Ashley. This type of drama is definitely going to bring up ratings and have people talking about the show exhibit a so i do feel like they do the research and i feel like they know this stuff and i think they purposely just wait till the fans find the stuff and put it out there and create all the extra content i do i mean i don't think people i think people are underestimating what goes on behind the scenes of a lot of these shows any ways the tea is piping hot okay girl so i just left the gym we had an amazing workout honestly it was such a good workout i decided to do arms today cardio so i did uh two miles on a treadmill and then i did 
a um well for the treadmill i did a mixture of incline walking and then i did a jog at the end so after my treadmill session i decided to do arms today because originally i was gonna do legs but i decided to do arms because I originally i was gonna do legs today but i decided not to do legs until maybe thursday just because leg day is the day that i'm least likely to skip i love doing leg day i just you know like the idea of working on my glutes so i figure i would do all the days that i hate first and then i'll do leg day on thursday so that way i will go to the gym every day until thursday hopefully i did wash my face in the gym to spray some vanilla skin I've been using a lot of MAC lately. I don't know, like something about MAC has just been really intriguing to me. And I'm going back to MAC. <laughs> that was such a corny dad joke. <laughs> We're going back to MAC, honey. We just made it to the mall. Skin me to come to kick it with you. Night turn into morning do Then you feel it for shit. Lose control. You don't wanna go slow for sure. We both already know your place is my place. No, my place is your place. Let's There were so many cute things at Nordstrom. Unfortunately, I couldn't try anything on. Well, fortunate for my bank account, but <laughs> unfortunately for me, because I felt so sweaty, I just came from the gym. Ooh, I will definitely be back to the mall. So we got lunch. I actually went to Just Salad. It's like, oh. <laughs> Their salads are really good. I got the chicken poblano. So yummy. So good. I need to edit so badly. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Got home. I'm about to go edit my life away. So I'm probably not going to see y'all for a good four hours. And then once I'm done, I will show you guys the shoes that I got. It's definitely going to be a challenge to get everything edited so quickly. But I am up for the challenge. I got to brace myself, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go edit and I'm gonna see you guys in about four hours when I'm done and then we'll do the little haul or whatever from Nordstrom. I just got Uggs, so I'll show you guys the Uggs and yeah, let's do it. So it's 6.25 right now. It's been hours upon hours. I finally edited all my content, uploaded to YouTube and now I'm gonna do my unboxing. I've been waiting patiently to open this and see what it looks like. I got some Uggs. they're so cute they are so cute like i don't even want to wear these wow honestly they look better in person like okay so it's so adorable it has basically like fur on here it's smooth these are too cute i cannot wait to wear these out can't wait to wear these i have the black version of these i did size up in these i got a nine and i hope they fit everyone was saying they run kind of small yeah this is the nine yeah the nine is actually perfect my feet are definitely moving around a little but i don't mind that i feel like it makes more sense to have them move around instead of having to bend the back like in like that that's what i did with the black ones i do want to go back to try on some jeans like i mentioned earlier and then also some sweaters i saw a really cute sweater from farm rio i thought it would be really nice for like thanksgiving right now i'm also broiling some chicken so i'm gonna go put that in the oven i think it should be ready and i need to figure out what side i'm gonna do today i have no clue what sides we should have and uh we gotta see if we have homework tonight 